world good morning good afternoon good evening welcome back to codingscientist.com you are watching one of a most beautiful and exciting series on machine learning using edge computing device or edge microcontroller called Arduino 33 BLE sense the very powerful sensor oriented microcontroller this board has got ton loads of sensors guys trust me it's fantastic i have been doing lot of r&d in the last couple of days i have been playing around with this i am also building a robot which 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 is kind of it's a kind of small bot you know i am putting together as a kit with uh, four wheels and uh, you know you can control through the motions and through the web browsers and lot of things lot of things it, it's going to come it's going to come in this lesson anyways so we are on lesson number 12 and i am going to show you in in the last couple of lessons i showed you how to uh, install various libraries for the sensors for the inbuilt sensors to activate and we did test the in, we gathered the inputs from uh, various sensors and i showed you how to see in the plotter uh, in the in the serial uh, monitor right now in this lesson i am going to show you how to visualize those sensor information in the serial plotter because these things are very important as we get into the actual machine learning aspect we need to gather these data and put this into a different method into the python programming uh, uh, in, the, in the cloud system which i'll show you at a later stage where we will be training the model and deploying it back so anyways so let's get into the ide i am going to open up my arduino ide and this is where i am so what we need to do go to file go to example let's open one of the example say say accelerometer let's open up the accelerometer all right i'll open it and i will close the previous one all right this is the accelerometer code and the code is pretty straight forward as i explained to you in the previous uh, lessons so those of those who are from the arduino background and having some basic knowledge about the c programming it's pretty easy to understand in case if you need help if you need a one on one coaching do reach out to me i can take a personalized class for you guys so go to tools select select your board by going to either embed os boards or you can go to embed os nano board so i am going to embed os nano boards select arduino 33 ble and then we will go to the port you need to select the port this is very important and click upload the code now it's compiling it's going to take couple of minutes for some reason i am unable to figure out why it takes uh, such a long time to upload uh, the codes so i tried to unplug the usb and connect it to the shorter cable as well it took the same time so if you, if you if you see here i am one is this standard usb which comes along with the ble and then i have additional cable which is pretty lengthy i was suspecting this could be the cause but actually no i just removed it and connected it directly to the laptop as well i tried it it's taking equal amount of time so we got to live with that let's let's wait let's give it a second it's still compiling it's still compiling it's still compiling in the meantime just want to uh, tell you guys you you might be using this code pretty often you can modify this code according to the project what you are building of course we will be building ton loads of project in this particular series but if you are building on your own you can take this as a standard set most important thing is importing the library sorry not importing hash include i am so much used to python import you know hash include uh, uh, the library so this is what you'll be using pretty often and then obviously the one time setup and then the if condition and then you can put it into the loop whatever the logic you want to build all right so it's done uploading uploading great now what we need to do we need to connect to the port once again because the port gets disconnected can you see it here it got disconnected now 
what we need to do go to tools again and instead of serial monitor open the serial plotter like this can you see this such a beautiful little plotter now you can see the straight line coming up here and there is a x axis on the top left right x axis in blue y in red z z axis in green and then orange okay now i am going to lift the ble and tilt because it's an accelerometer right so we got to see how it works can you see here can you see the vibration guys can you see it on the screen can you see it on the serial plotter there you go there you go great so we are able to visualize the data pretty accurate but once we start building the actual project using this acceleration from the accelerometer we will be able to analyze further so this is just a visualization point of view how you can visualize the plotters now let me close this let's go to another example go to uh, file go to example example and oops what's happening example let's go to say simple gyroscope let's look at the gyroscope okay gyroscope lsm 9d s1 is the library we will go to 33 ble embed os nano boards arduino nano 33 ble and then i am going to select the port com 8 which is my port your port might be different so keep a note of that and click upload button upload and again it's going to take some time so gyroscope is going to be pretty interesting guys we will be using gyroscopes a lot you know especially using uh, 33 uh, ble sense board if we have to build a kind of uh, you know uh, self balancing bot for example i can show you one of the robot which i am trying it out i can show you to you here so this is the bot which i am building with a heavy duty battery and two stepper motors and it's going to balance like this so i am going to put the ble here somewhere here inside and most of the circuit is ready with me so i'm going to i'm yet to just program and then do the configuration so for for building a self balancing bot like this you know you need definitely need gyroscopes anyways now this program is uploaded let me go to serial plotter oops the com port is not connected see can you see i i can see the error at the bottom board at com 9 is not available this is a problem so we got to keep connecting the port again and again all right now let me open the serial plotter wow can you see that again the x axis y axis z axis in different colors let me just move oh my god can you see this i'm just changing the position say the red one the red line is y axis so this is y can you see the y in this angle now let's check the x axis x axis should be like this like this it's going on top and here down top down top down top down now let's look at the z axis z axis should be like this there you go the z axis green one the green color can you see the green one zigzag it's and then the orange let's look at it like this all right perfect guys look at the visualization let me just shake it perfect we are gathering a perfect data from the inbuilt sensors especially the gyroscope and the acceleration it's working fantastic guys all right so that's it for this lesson i thought i'll show it to you and in the upcoming lessons in the future guys we are going to turn loads of things we are going to capture all the sensor data and try to do some machine learning activities and also in future i am going to build a self balancing bot in this and 
along with this robot what what i'm uh, why, what i intend to do is uh, of course the ble sensor will be connected but to build it more advanced i am going to fix a jetson nano on top of that to do object tracking and object detection face recognition this can follow balance and follow a human face and all those things you know there are there are ton loads of things uh, which we can do any which ways all right guys i will see you soon in the next lesson and until then goodbye